Local versus out of town agent. What's the right choice? Welcome back to Moving On Up. I'm your host, Greg Dewar, and today I'd like to talk about the choice involved when you're deciding to work with a local versus out of town realtor. But first, hit that like button a hundred times over and subscribe to my channel so that I can keep sharing all of my real estate knowledge and expertise with you. When it comes to buying and selling real estate, finding a realtor is not difficult at all. Just throw a stone and I'm sure you'll hit one. There are 78,000 realtors in Ontario alone, and with about 230,000 home sales happening per year, that means that there is stiff competition and many realtors will do just about anything to earn a commission, including traveling way outside of their area of expertise. Every realtor has a different level of knowledge and different locations that they are well versed in, and with that in mind, Today, I would like to dive into the top four reasons why working with a local agent is in your best interest. Number one, do you want your realtor to have market knowledge and expertise in the location that you are buying or selling in? Knowing and being familiar with the different areas within a local market can be particularly favorable. A local agent will know which areas are considered more popular or desirable, know which areas to stay away from, and have experience in the dynamics of the local market, such as do locals consider this a busy road? Where do you go for recreation, schools, etc.? This knowledge can help determine an appropriate sale price. An out of town agent may not understand any of these specific details. And the number one rule in real estate is say it with me location, location, location. So if the realtor you're bringing in from out of town doesn't understand the location, then you're screwed. Number two, do you want your realtor to understand local home values? Every different city in Ontario has its own market. And sometimes even a 30 minute drive can mean a major shift in prices. A local agent will understand home values much better, will be well versed in the different prices depending on the neighborhood, and will be able to quickly recognize and react to local market shifts that are happening. Ultimately, this knowledge can translate to getting the max price for your home or making sure that you are not overpaying when you buy. An out of town agent will not readily know what homes are selling for outside of their market. They will not understand neighborhood differences and they will not recognize market shifts the same way a local agent would. Out of town agents constantly ask me questions like, what is this house worth? Can you send me the comparable sales? Or what do you think this house will sell for? This would be the basic fundamental knowledge of a local agent, but because they aren't willing to let a potential sale go and tell their client that they don't have experience in the area, they are putting their commission before their client's best interest. Number three, relationships and networking. This one can really make a difference. An experienced local agent is likely to have a broad network of buyers as well as relationships built with other local agents who they have dealt with over the course of their careers. The larger the agent's network, the more exposure and opportunities for you. Out of town agents will not have the same presence outside of their local market. Number four, a lesson on real estate boards. There are 38 different real estate boards in Ontario. Most of them do not share information with each other. If you work with a local realtor, all of the market stats and information is at their fingertips 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you are considering using someone from out of town, this may put you at a disadvantage because most agents do not spend money to gain access to multiple real estate boards. So if you're selling a home, an out of town agent may not even put your home on the local real estate board, which is where every local realtor would have seen it. They will say that any real estate board will get your home on MLS, which is true, but there is a great failure in this approach because it alienates every local member. Realtors almost exclusively use the local real estate board to browse for homes. So if your listing isn't there, it will quickly rack up more days on market. 
Consequences here could range from continually losing bidding wars to gloriously overpaying for your new home. If you are still on the fence about working with an out-of-town agent, there are two strongly suggested options available to you. One is to have your agent work on a referral basis with a local realtor. This ensures that your agent of choice is still compensated on the transaction and you get the benefits of working with a local realtor. If a referral is not an option, you should insist that your realtor have paid access to the local real estate board, whether you are buying or selling. As an experienced realtor, I know exactly what it takes to sell homes in Cambridge and the surrounding areas, and I would love to chat with you more about it. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, remember to like, subscribe, and share this video, and I'll catch you next time.